I've been thinking about getting back into my workout routine and um, quite a few people have actually asked what I do to work out and I never really wanted to make a video on it because it's it's really like the bare minimum um, yeah I feel like I have two different workout modes or two different workout routines one is just like an easy routine that I know that I'll stick to and I'll always do. So the results do come, but usually, you know, it takes three to six weeks to start seeing a change. Um, and like, I will say like, I definitely do get results because um, that's the only reason why I would, I would continue doing it. But if you were to like to tell someone what you do, like it just sounds almost too easy. Um, the second one is more serious. And so um, a lot of the ideas or the things that I abide by on a daily are basically straight from like um, mass building, like bodybuilding websites and magazines and things like that. And while all the techniques work and I've had, you know, great results with it, um, it is something that will be, you know, it'll be a lifestyle change. So the first one is just one that I can stick to. Um, you don't need the gym for it. I, I tried to get a gym membership back in the end of December and I literally was able to go to the gym for maybe one to two months and then I stopped going because of COVID. Over the years I've always just worked out and I'm going to show you everything that I use so you will know and um, yeah definitely don't need a lot of equipment and everything you can get from Walmart or you can get from Amazon if you don't have a Walmart and of course I'll show pictures and um, yeah I'll have links to everything down below so we'll just get into the easy workout routine and that's the one that I'm going to be getting back into and this is the one that I've used for pretty much this um, I don't want to say this entire year because I have gone like quite a few months without working out but um, I would say when my body was probably looking better it's probably march april <laughs> yeah march april may and then june july august i haven't really been working out but anyways i've done this on and off throughout the years and it always works and first i'll start off by saying i think some people their natural body the way it's set up um it's just genetic so for some people they can literally keep like a flat stomach or it could look like they even have abs and literally that's just the way their body was set up um I have a friend whose brother, they look very much alike, but their bodies are a little different. So his brother always has six pack abs um, and he doesn't work out. He just always has abs. And then he, on the other hand, while his body is a lot like his brother for some reason, um, even he like really has to like work hard. Like he has to diet the right way. He has to work on his abs multiple times per week. And it's just like some people, Honestly, they don't really have to do much. It's the same thing with like growing like your butt and stuff like that. Some people, they'll always have a nice projection, like it, their butt will always like kind of pop out or some will always like, it'll just like look round and full. And then other people, just depending on how your body's built, you might have more of the more square butt or maybe your butt just gets a little flat when you're not working it out routinely. And so you kind of have to like be careful like when you're going by like uh, a YouTuber um, or someone on Instagram and like seeing what works for them because it's so tailored to their body. Uh, I will say before I had um, my baby, it was really hard for me to gain any type of weight. Like um, fat cells, if you haven't heard already, are a lot like building muscle. Like those cells like never go away. So people who let's say they lost a lot of weight, maybe 50, 60 pounds, even though that weight is gone, it is so much easier for them to put that weight back on because that fat cell was already created. So it's already there. Obviously they just, they burn fat and they did the work. And so, you know, obviously their body's gonna change and look different. But if you were to put someone who I would say uh, just lost a lot of weight in a room and put them on the same diet as someone who never had 50 or 60 pounds of extra weight, the person who already had that extra weight on them they could eat the same thing as the other person and gain all that fat right back whereas the other person like it's going to take them a lot longer to get there so it's the same thing with your muscle if you do the work and like you go from maybe like being you know more of like a stick and um you just were uh gaining mass you were eating the right proteins you were working out heavy hardcore all the time then you can you know finally add on mass and maybe a butt that you've never had in your life. Um, but you know, obviously when you stop, it might go down a little bit, but just know it's gonna be easier for you 
to put that muscle back on because muscle definitely has memory 100 <laughs> percent so for people starting like from ground zero you've never really had much to work with to begin with you're gonna have to work harder and it's gonna take you longer it doesn't mean you can't get there you 100 percent can it just means you have to work harder you might have to work out longer um, than someone else who maybe a few years ago they were like grinding in the gym they went hardcore and they got this huge bubble butt and then they stopped and it went away when they get back into the gym that butt's going to come back way faster than someone who's starting from ground zero and i feel like i'm bringing up people who've already had children because for a lot of us it helped us um you know get womanly curves you know it, it definitely helps your hips spread a little bit it helps you gain some butt like most pregnant women you know they'll have a bit of a butt and all that weight that you're gaining when you're you know growing your baby um it goes everywhere and so after you have the baby you're still going to have like some of those womanly curves obviously there's people who they literally can go back down to their pre-baby weight pretty quickly um so you know it's just as easy as you got that butt which i don't really think it's that easy because it took me nine months <laughs> but as easy as it was to get it it'll like kind of fall back off but if you get back into the gym you'll notice that um you can like grow uh your butt back and it's just because like those cells and everything are still there um versus someone who has always been a th like i'll say a twig you know just really thin kind of narrow and like you know they never really had anything to begin with so there definitely are some hacks the one hack being just go really hard in the gym or not necessarily to gym just working out and um, you know grow that mass there's tons of stuff on the internet to help you get there and then the second would be you know people who <laughs> I guess she didn't have a baby that'll definitely help you get like a more hourglass uh, figure but uh, yeah, I guess I'll just get into that. But I wanted to say that because it is really important. And I feel like most people like already know like what I'm talking about. Um, so yes, this is my easy routine. But a lot of this, it's like I've already done the hard work before. And then also after having a baby, it really helped me to fill out more. So I guess that's why this routine is so easy. But I'll share it anyways. So for the routine, I would say go to Walmart. All of mine are from Walmart. So like when I first started, I got the two 15 pound dumbbells and you can do squats with these. Obviously you'll hold them in both hands like this, you know, around the handle. And you're just gonna squat down to the ground like you normally would. Um, you don't really need to like order like one of those long weight benching bars and get like huge plates to put on them. Like you really don't need any of that. Um, you can just start off with 15 pound each dumbbells. Um, so it'll be a total of 30 pounds or you can start with 20 pound each dumbbell So it'll be a total of 40 pounds. You could use this for months and get amazing results on your glutes So I know it sounds weird people say, you know, I'm using dumbbells while I'm squatting and Yeah, it does sound weird, but it works works 100% and I've been doing it for years. So yeah, most of these, um, they're pretty cheap, but I know with COVID, um, a lot of the gyms closed, so it's harder to get weights right now. So I bought mine pre-COVID, so it was easier. So if you see them somewhere, just go ahead, buy them, get them. It's going to last you for years. And yeah, if you're worried about adding on weight, because like, you know, you can't just continue working out with the same weight that you started with like six weeks ago. You're either going to have to up how many sets you're doing. So how many squats you're doing to make it harder for your body or your body will plateau and it'll stop, you know, growing that butt. Or you could get something like um, with plates. This is also another Walmart and you guys see kind of like how you would hold it. For this one, you're going to need both hands to hold it and then to go, you know, up and down, do your squat. But this one... Um, you can buy different plates and you can add on like maybe a five pound plate or a 2.5 pound plate to either side and you can, you know, just adjust it to whatever you need. But for most people, you're not going to have to go up and wait until like, gosh, maybe two months or so. There's other things that you can do to make your workout harder so your body doesn't have to plateau. Um, and yeah, these are 25 pound weights on each side. So this is a total of 50 pounds. But to be honest... Um, if you look at pictures like this, uh, this was me um, not so long ago, like 2018, 2019. Um, I was using, I think maybe just a, a total of 40 pounds and doing squats with my dumbbells. So you don't really need this. I just bought the really heavy one because um, 
I don't know. <laughs> I just, I guess I wanted to, but you really don't need 50 pounds. You could get away with 30 or you get away with 40. For this easy routine, and this is a routine that I'll be getting back into. I'm starting today actually. Um, you're just gonna work out once in the morning or evening. So if you're a morning workout person or if you're like a evening workout person, just pick whenever. So it's just once a day and I'll be doing 15 squats for five sets. So, just, you know, you're going down doing your squat one, two, three, all the way till you get 15. Then you can take like a mini break and that'll be one set and then do it again and do the second set and I'll be just going for a total of five sets. And so that's 75 squats in that day. And I'm gonna be doing this just three days a week. So it could be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or whenever. So I'll have a two day, so every day like you have a break. So you'll work out Monday, nothing Tuesday. Work out Wednesday, nothing Thursday. Work out Friday, take the weekend for a break. Or you can work out on the weekend. It's just up to you. This is just what I'll be doing. And I've already done this in the past. So I kind of have it like down to a science of the bare minimum of what my body needs to start getting um, that projection in my back my back end. <laughs> um, so to up the intensity and make it a little harder, uh, what I do, and you could do this without adjusting how much weight you're squatting, you'll use one of those bands. You've probably seen these all over social media. They're amazing and they will definitely make your workout harder. <laughs> and um, even if you're not using bands, this workout it kills my butt, it kills my legs, like it hurts. The secret to it is doing the squat slowly, slowly. If you're doing it too quick or if you're trying to get momentum when you're going up and down, up and down, you start to use other muscles. So you really wanna focus on feeling the burn and maybe even tightening your glutes as you're like squatting down and you'll, you'll feel it 100%. So yeah, if you're feeling like, oh, I'm doing all these squats, nothing's happening, just slow it down, like do it really slow, like you're going in slow motion and you will feel uh, feel it in your butt more. And sometimes it, it helps to like squeeze the butt. I'm sure there are other videos that can like explain it in a better way, but really that is the secret. So I, it's funny cause like I always thought like, oh, I needed to, like to be one of those girls who like had like those like bars on their back and like they have to like do like 100 pounds, 150 pounds and that's what was gonna like grow my butt and it's just like you can get that butt with just doing like a low intensity workout. It's just what muscles you're engaging while you're doing that and so yeah, the trick is do it very slowly. Um, yeah, so if you wanna up the intensity, use a leg band, um, you're definitely gonna feel it. But to be honest, even without the leg band, you're gonna feel it anyways. And usually I will do this for maybe three weeks. So three times a week for three weeks or four weeks. And then that's when I'll start making it a little harder because you don't want your body to get used to it. The more you work out, the easier the workout will start getting for you. So if you feel like, oh, I'm not as sore as I was at the beginning or, oh, I feel like this is like too easy for me, then that's when you would start hacking it. So either slowly add more weight or um, just make, put on bands, like the thigh band thing, or you can just add on an extra set. So instead of doing five sets, go ahead and do six sets. And yeah, for this, you could start with anything from 30 to 50 pounds. It does not have to be a lot, trust me. It just, I don't know why this works, it just does. <laughs> and then um, like during the day, I would definitely make sure you're getting in some type of protein. You don't have to go crazy and go out and buy like one of those huge whey protein tubs. If you want to, you can. I know for some people it gives them stomach aches and you know, it's just whatever you're into. Um, I told you guys about um, the one Instagrammer who she used these to grow her glutes and um, it's really really helped these are given to the elderly to help keep up their weight and yeah they have 20 grams of protein so basically if you do go out and like get protein powder it's the same thing you're getting 20 grams of protein so you just drink these 20 grams of protein and this has 350 calories so it's going to help in um because you do have to up your calorie intake if you're wanting to like really add on mass to your butt now if you're one of those people where you just um let's say you're standing and you can kind of like pick up your butt and if you pick it up it kind of like projects more so you already have the mass back there um, just working out I wouldn't necessarily say that you even have to like add on more calories really um, you're just like kind of like lifting your butt and tightening it but you're doing that through working out so naturally instead of kind of pancaking out 
all of that um, muscle and fat will, you know, just round out and, um, you know, look better. So it just depends. So for people who are you're like, oh, I don't even have a lot back there to begin with, then yeah, you should be looking at how many calories you're getting, add on extra calories. And it doesn't have to be crazy. Like when you're adding on extra calories, figure out how many calories you're already eating in a day. Just add on like 200 or add on 300. And um, yeah, just keep it, keep it simple. Um, another thing is like a, the collagen. I told you this actually has protein in it as well. So one scoop has 10 grams of protein, so you would just take two scoops, but um, this is like, people are pretty serious about like not going over their recommended dosage. So if you go on Amazon, it says you can take one scoop twice a day, or you can just take one scoop um, once a day. Um, but I would not be doing like three scoops or four scoops or anything like that, because it does have collagen and extra stuff in there. While I don't know what would happen, if you like took too much collagen, like I don't want to find out, but I just know that it's pretty cool that it already has protein in there. So yeah, it's like not a traditional protein drink, but will still really, really help you. And like I said, you have to up the ante or your body will get so used to this routine. So usually I make it harder every three weeks and you can just do that on a rotation. Every three weeks of doing your routine, add on something new. Um, so that could just be doing the band or add on an extra set or add on five more reps. So instead of doing 15 squats at a time, you'll do 20 squats at a time, and you'll do that for five sets, or six sets, or however many. And yeah, you can just keep on doing that for two to three months. By two to three months, you're already gonna be seeing the change. And other people around you, I've noticed, they've been able to see the change even after me getting back into it like after just four weeks so it'll help to you know keep your momentum up and so you'll continue doing it because who wants to work out and like not really see like a change or a difference like nobody another thing you could add on is banded floor work there's tons of things on social media or you can just google it and it'll show you what all you can do with your band these are going to work different parts of your butt if you're looking for a more round butt like the sides of your glutes um exercises like this will definitely help you and yeah you could add on this to your routine every three weeks like incorporate a new extra band routine and that'll make it a little harder for me, like I like to keep this easy because I want to make it just like an everyday thing. I don't want myself to be like negatively anticipating it, like oh, tomorrow's workout day. Like it, you want it, it to feel like, oh, I can just get this out of the way really quick and then I'm good to go. Do you know what I mean? If you want to go crazy with it, go crazy with it. But for me, it's just like, I like to ease into things <laughs> and I want to make sure like I'm going to continue doing it. So I don't want to make any commitments that are too difficult. So the idea is just like to trick your mind into thinking that it's easy, but obviously it's working because you're going to see the results, but you just don't want to feel like, oh my gosh, it's going to take so long or, oh my gosh, it's going to take an entire hour. The routine, like I told you, like just doing 15 squats five times each, that literally could take you under 25 minutes. Like it just depends on how much of a break you're taking in between. Obviously you don't want to take like that long of a break, like, but if you wanted to, you could give yourself two to three minutes in between each set, but. I'm just saying. And then to up the ante, that's another thing you can do. Cut back on the amount of time in between sets. So instead of giving yourself like a three minute break in between, maybe just like set a timer, give yourself one minute and then get back into it and whew, you will be so out of breath. I've tried that and it's just like, oh dang. <laughs> it's uh, definitely like uh, ups the ante for uh, the workout, but um, it works, but you just want to make sure like while you're actually doing the squat, like I said, you're still going slow. So all you're doing is giving yourself less time to recover in between the sets. Um, and also another thing with building your butt or building any muscle on your body, you need the rest day in between. So don't work on your glutes every single day of the week. Um, you'll see you'll get quicker results just working on glutes maybe three times a week or even just two times a week it just depends so for the moderate workout this is the harder one basically you're going to be adding on a morning and an evening workout so basically you'll be doing this three or four times a week whatever you feel more comfortable with again remember you need at least one day of rest in between each workout day and you're going to start out with doing 20 squats and you're going to do six sets of 20 and so you're going to do uh, basically 120 squats two times a day 
And so yeah, that'll be a total of 240 squats for the day. You're using your weight. Um, you could still be using your uh, two 15 pound weight for a total of 30 pounds, or you know, you could be using your 20 pound each weights or your 25 pound weights, whatever. Trust me, you're gonna see the difference in your butt. You do not have to be like squatting like super 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 heavy make sure that you're doing the protein drink well this is what i do um if i'm on the difficult workout obviously the one where i'm doing it twice a day um i make sure like i do a protein drink two times a day so either that means two ensures a day or it would mean if you have just like a regular protein powder doing your scoops twice a day uh, also i add on more protein to my meal plan this one you like you really have to like change your day to day eating habits for this um usually i'll start putting like peanut butter into my oatmeal to get that extra um, protein because peanut butter has a ton of protein i'll start eating protein bars in between my meals so i'll still be getting all the meals that i usually do but i'll just like start like some of these protein bars are like 12 grams of protein some are even 20 and um, the extra protein really helps to make the difference and also i add eggs to almost every meal like it'll i would add like maybe an egg and with dinner or maybe an egg like on my lunch sandwich like add a lot of eggs and um, definitely do like a lean meat like chicken breast or turkey another fun thing and you can um I have this on the difficult workout but you could add this even to the the easy workout is ankle weights you can get them from Walmart or they might have some on Amazon as well and so they ankle weights are awesome if you're doing banded workouts especially like if you're um kicking your leg out like it doesn't seem like it would do much but it really does it really does it'll really sculpt your butt um there are also some ab workouts where you can use the ankle weights and so it's like your leg is also getting the workout but also your stomach is too um i did not add any ab exercises to my routine because i noticed that just with doing the easy squatting routine you're engaging your core every time you go down and obviously it's weighted and so i noticed that it tones up my stomach as well as um you know lifts my butt and gives me like more of a projection you know so if it's if your butt's like kind of flat it'll like just start to pop out more so yeah it's literally for me it like kills two birds with one stone but if you really wanted to get onto your stomach like i have some extra fat on my stomach right now um running helps take off fat everywhere though so you don't want to do long distance running because sometimes it'll take off too much uh fat and sometimes you need a little bit for you know to like i don't know curve you out i guess so do sprints so not necessarily just jogging 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 seeing how long you can go just do sprints like uh bursts of power and then stop maybe walk a little bit and then another burst of power and that'll help also building your glutes while also um burning any excess weight that you have and yeah i think that's all i have for this video i feel like it's gonna be very long <laughs> but i just want to tell you everything that i'm doing so yeah i'm just doing i'm starting with the easy workout and literally i could do this for like two months and um, still see really really great results if you're trying to amp up your results even quicker or if you're one of those people who you know you need to build mass back there you don't already have something to work with you have to literally create that extra muscle then definitely start out with the martyr workout and yeah it'll definitely get you results like way faster but um even for me even the easy workout like after three to four weeks i already am seeing a change and the best part other people will see the change too so you'll definitely get people like commenting um and even like people that like see you all the time like they'll see the difference in your butt which that feels amazing because i don't just want to see the change like i want to know like other people see it too because I don't know it just helps you to keep up with it and make it a part of your every not everyday routine but you know your weekly routine